After Matthew Perry found dead at the Pacific Palisades home, he was 54. Police reportedly called to the home for water rescue and found Perry's body in his jacuzzi. Police are still investigating at that scene tonight. Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Leslie Manin. This is KCAL News at 9. We're streaming live on CBS News Los Angeles. And I'm Jasmine Veal. Yeah, let's get right to the scene because KCAL News reporter Nicole Comstock is there live in Pacific Palisades with the latest Nicole. Well, you guys, it's just so incredibly sad that beloved actor Matthew Perry, who made us all laugh for a decade as Chandler Bing on Friends, is now tragically dead at only 54 years old. Tonight, if you take a look at this video here, you can see that his family gathered out here behind the caution tape, obviously heartbroken and just starting to process his loss here. Understandably, none of them wanted to speak. Neither did his mother, Suzanne Perry, or Perry's stepfather, Keith Morrison, both journalists. Morrison from Dateline, who just left and then came back here together a short time ago. We can also so show you some aerial video that gives you a better look at what it looked like out here as investigators were first taking a look. There's a tent over the pool area there in the backyard. Now, the LA County Fire Department tells us they responded to this home in Pacific Palisades at about 4 o'clock this evening for a call about a man in his 50s who was found unresponsive. It is being reported that Perry was found dead in his jacuzzi of a possible drowning but it is still unclear exactly at this point what the circumstances are surrounding his death. Perry, of course, played Chandler Bing on Friends during its 10-year run from 94 to 2004. He was an endearing, sarcastic, and self-deprecating character on the show who many people loved. He was also known for his roles in the movies Fool's Rush In, The Ron Clark Story, Three to Tango, and The Whole Nine Yards, including many roles on other TV shows, including The West Wing and 90210. He recently also released a memoir in... 2022 called Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, where he told the story of his lifelong struggle with alcohol and drug addiction and how even though he had a career on one of the most memorable shows of all time, he always felt like there was a void the fame couldn't fill. We just spoke with one of his neighbors a short time ago, Leo. Take a listen. Definitely a tragedy, especially, you know, at such a young age, um, especially, you know, after watching all these, you know, obviously you guys know show friends um i was very heartbroken to see what happened yeah i encountered him once and he was very friendly um actually friendlier than i thought very very nice um genuine guy That's right, and his neighbor Leo there saying that he saw the police response out here tonight. He knew that's where Matthew Perry lived, and obviously because he looked up to him uh, as a kid, obviously a very young neighbor there, he says Perry was one of his favorite actors, so it was very heartbreaking for him finding out that he did in fact pass away out here. He says that he knew about his lifelong struggle with addiction, and so he was really rooting for him in his recovery journey. Again, Matthew Perry has passed away at the age of 54. We'll send it back to you in the studio. And we have reaction tonight coming in from Hollywood. Stars from Selma Blair, who said, My oldest boyfriend, all of us loved Matthew Perry, and I did especially. Every day I loved him unconditionally. And me, and he, me, and I'm heart and I'm broken, broken hearted. Sweet dreams, Maddie. Sweet dreams. Maris Ovino, who starred with Perry in the 1994 TV movie Parallel Lives, tweeted, Oh no, Matthew Perry, you sweet troubled soul. May you find peace and happiness in heaven, making everyone laugh with your singular wit. And tonight, yeah, so many are remembering the actor very fondly and looking back on his career. We spoke with Variety Senior TV Features Editor Emily Longaretta about Perry's impact. Yeah, it's absolutely heartbreaking, guys, to hear about this. Uh, of course, someone who impacted so many of us just through a television screen, someone who really created the sitcom and was such a big part of such a big show, but really became the character that felt like home for all of us. He was the one that everybody could really relate to, whether he was making you laugh or making you cry. And then the way that he was so open about his struggles through the years was really, really something that showed that he, you know, wanted to help other people. And regardless of everything he was suffering through, he really put that first as his want to help others. And I mean, that says a lot. 
Warner Brothers TV, which produced the show Friends, did release a statement saying Matthew was an incredibly gifted actor and an indelible part of the Warner Brothers television group family. The impact of his comedic genius was felt around the world, and his legacy will live on in the hearts of so many. This is a heartbreaking day. Shock.